Why fancy photoshopping was all you used to need to create a space between the skinny jeans on models and the celebrities in magazines. But as Joyce Evans reports, average Janes and Joes are going under the knife to create a real thigh gap. We want to warn you, some of this surgery may be hard to watch. Christy Anazek is a bona fide gym rat. My whole life I've been working out. Her BFFs, free weights, step stackers, cycling machines. I don't want to be skinny. But she does want to be cut. She's got the guns, even the buns. I'm in the best shape of my life. I just always wanted to tone it. But there's one problem area this fitness cowgirl can't seem to burn off, diet off, or wrangle away. I knew that I had done all that I could do on my own. Whew. The 35-year-old second grade teacher is taking one last stand. But so I'm going to put your arms out to the side. She'll need a hired gun between those pockets of fat that cause rubbing, dimpling, thunder thighs. Right here. It's everything. This is my trouble area. It's that they touch down here. It's the outer thigh all the way around here. It's the whole thigh, Joyce. The whole thigh. <laughs> Christy says she's already dropped a chunk of money on quick cosmetic fixes. And they were all temporary. Still, she's not willing to undergo some of the more serious surgeries doctors tell us more women and yes, some men are seeking to get that fashion forward wide thigh gap. The thigh gap. Really just a new name for an age old issue now being taken to a trendy and possibly dangerous extreme, says plastic surgeon Stephen Davis. These models that are coming in with these really tight skinny jeans want to have this extreme gapping between their legs. I don't think I'm really a candidate for anything more drastic. The problem is you have to have a little bit of fat there in order for it to work. So some patients that I've seen have come in and they say they want their thighs to be narrower, but there's nothing there to take. There's really nothing to do. And that's the part that's sticking out the most. There is a little something there to take from Christy. This is a little bit higher in elevation. Even though she's mostly muscle, while her saddlebags are not loaded, she wants them smoother. She wants more butt bubble and less crowding and no touching in between. The little neck that we're going to make is going to be somewhere like right there. So it's hidden in the crease. You're crazy. I've heard people tell me yes. You're crazy. What? For Christy, the doctor will use radio frequency energy, a heating procedure that melts fat and tightens loose skin. But to actually melt fat, without going under the skin. I'm not so sure that you can see enough of a result for patients. Going under requires a lot of numbing. You felt that? A little bit, yeah. A bit painful just at first. Then he goes back and forth, removing the fat and sculpting through liposuction. So in the beginning, I tried to go a little bit closer to the muscle, deeper, if you will. Using this odd-looking RF device, he works a heated wand between the skin and muscle, melting and tightening, while that cup-like attachment does about the same thing on the skin's surface. And then after that area is depleted, I'm going to come up with a finer cannula, finer syringe, and come up closer to the skin surface. The same procedure is done to the outer thighs and below the butt, busting up bands of cellulite. It's not so easy to, like, get rid of cellulite completely. A couple hours and a few stitches later... So I'm taking this whole thing from here and kind of wrapping it into there. Foam tape she'll have to wear for about a week to compress now loose skin against the muscle. No bath, no shower. Feels good. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> Fast forward a week. So let's see. Follow up and foam off. 
really don't have a lot of bruising anywhere. Dr. Davis says the trick is to not overcorrect for a more natural look. You can see this skin is like not loose in any way. But not done yet, she's still swollen. Okay. Christy gets to wear this girdle contraption for a few weeks more. It makes my legs feel better. The pain was very minimal and um, I'm thrilled with what I see so far. If you're unhappy, fix it. Dr. Davis stresses you still have to work to maintain a newly sculpted figure. Should be no problem for a workout fiend like Christy, she sent us a new picture to compare three weeks after. Now, Christy's mini thigh gap procedure cost her a couple thousand bucks, but if you're interested, your surgery cost and end result also will depend on what you start out with. Joyce Evans, Fox 29 News.